We finally launched our SE Live multi-streaming tool in open beta, which means any streamer can install our OBS Studio plugin, SE Live, and start multi-streaming to other platforms. In this video, I'll walk you through how to install SE Live, access the open beta, set up all the platforms you want to stream to, and how to set up your additional canvases to stream to vertical platforms like uh, TikTok or the YouTube Shorts feed. All of these sections will be marked as chapters so that you can easily follow this tutorial along at your pace. Now, enough yapping, let's start. SE Live Multi-Streaming, as we mentioned in the beginning, is our solution for streaming to more than one platform simultaneously, and it lives within our OBS Studio plugin, SE Live. Our multi-streaming tool is 100% free, like all our other tools, and it is not cloud multi-streaming. It runs locally on your machine. Our devs worked hard to make sure it is optimized and that it will not be too demanding on your CPU or your GPU. Due to this, we recommend a CPU and GPU from 2019 onwards, and for streaming to two, three, or even four platforms, just consider the bitrate you have set up on OBS for your main output, and in my case, that's 6,000 bitrate, and multiply that by how many platforms you're going to stream to. SE Live Multi-Streaming allows you to stream to all the platforms that we support, like Twitch, YouTube, YouTube Shorts Feed, TikTok, X, Trovo, but we also support custom RTMP destinations, which allows you to stream for Instagram, for example, if you want to. And we're not limiting you to two platforms at the same time. You can stream to as many platforms as your PC and connection can handle. Now, to be able to stream to, say, TikTok or the YouTube Shorts feed, you need to stream in the 9 by 16 vertical ratio. And this is where canvases come in. With SE Live Multi-Streaming, you're able to create canvases that you can customize that are separate from your main OBS canvas. With this, you can create 9 by 16 canvases to stream to those platforms. You can create more than one in case you want your YouTube short stream to look different from your TikTok stream, but you can also use the same vertical canvas to stream to all the vertical platforms that you want. SE Live is our own OBS Studio plugin that brings in a lot of Stream Elements tools right into OBS. Things like your activity feed, our multi-chat, and even an alert simulator, but it will also include our multi-streaming tool. TLDR, if you want to try out our multi-streaming solution, you've got to install SE Live. And I'm going to walk you through it right now. Let's get started. As I mentioned a second ago, you got to install SE Live to try out our multi-streaming. So head on over to streamelements.com slash SE Live or click the link in the description below and let that file download. Once that is done, let's run it. Select which folder you want to install SE Live to and click Next. Once we're done, let's open up OBS Studio. And here we are. If it's your first time running SE Live, you will see this login screen. Let's log in by choosing the platform that we use to log into the Stream Elements website. In my case, that's my Twitch account. Now, we need to change from the default version of SE Live to the beta version, so you can access the multi-streaming open beta. Just go up to the top to the Stream Elements menu, click on SE Live versions, and then select the beta branch. Click OK in this new window and just let it run. Once that is done, you're in. It's time to start multi-streaming. All right, first things first, let's talk about outputs. When we say outputs, we're referring to a platform that you're going to stream to. For example, I wanna to stream to Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. That means I have to configure each of these platforms as an output, which is made easy by our multi-streaming panel at the bottom right. Here you can see all the platforms that we support. To multi-stream to any of them, all you have to do is flip the switch. And if you have not connected this account yet, just click this plus sign at the bottom left and choose the platform you want to add. Then just follow the prompts in this new window to log into that platform. Once that is done, you'll notice that it will say the channel name at the bottom and also what canvas this platform will use but we'll get to canvases very, very soon. And if you want to get a bit more detailed, click the three dots menu and hit settings. In the settings window, you have three main areas, the outputs, canvas settings, and broadcast settings. In the outputs area, you can also hit the connect button to enable platforms. And it will also allow you to choose which OBS audio track you want to pipe out to each platform. This is useful for stuff like not sending copyrighted music to platforms like YouTube or TikTok. We're going to skip the Canvas settings as we will cover them in the Canvases section of the video. So let's jump to the Broadcast settings. Here you can predefine the title and categories all before you even hit that Start Streaming button. Now, what about TikTok? You will notice that you have this TikTok output here. This is where you can connect your TikTok account. And even if you do not have access to TikTok Live yet, by logging into your account here, you will take advantage of our expedited review process with TikTok. 
Once you are logged in and have access to TikTok Live, this output will flip to on and you're ready to go live on TikTok. But I can already hear you saying, all right, that's cool, but how do I stream to TikTok on a vertical format? That's where Canvas is coming to play. Let's go ahead and create our first vertical Canvas. Just click on any outputs three dots menu, go to Canvas and select Create New Canvas. A new window will pop up, allowing you to name the canvas and also select its resolution. Because we want to format for vertical platforms like TikTok or YouTube Shorts, you should select the 1080 by 920 option here. Then click OK. And there it is, our first vertical canvas. In this window, you'll be able to see a preview of what viewers can see at the top and at the bottom, you can create scenes and add sources, just like you would do in regular OBS. To create a scene, just click this plus button at the bottom left, and the new window will pop up that lets you name the new scene. Click Add Scene when you're done. Now it's time to add some sources. Just click the three dots menu on the right side of the scene and choose Add Source. Then just pick which kind of source you want from the list. I'm just gonna add my camera for now. So I'm selecting Video Capture. You can add existing sources or create a new one and select if you want that source to be visible right away or not in case you're doing some fiddling while you're live. As you can see, you can now adjust where their source is on the canvases at the top. Similar to how you would do on your normal canvas in OBS. You can resize and you can even crop. Now, remember when I said we were gonna check out the Canvas settings later? Well, that time is now. Let's go back to our settings menu and check out the Canvas settings. Here we have a drop down so we can select which Canvas we want to configure in case you have more than one. Then we can do some things like renaming the Canvas or changing its resolution and also check which output is currently linked to this Canvas. In the advanced option at the bottom, you're able to select from your available methods of encoding. Like for example, I have an AMD GPU, which allows me to use its hardware encoding for this canvas. Once your scene is done and settings are good, we have a nice little feature to make your life easier when you're multi-streaming called linked scenes. Let's say that this is my just chatting scene on my regular OBS. And now I have this just chatting scene on my vertical canvas. I can just click the three dots menu on the scene, go down to link scenes, and I link it to my regular just chatting scene. Now let's do this for my gaming scene as well and link it to my regular gaming scene that I have on OBS. Now, whenever you switch to any of these scenes, our multi-streaming tool will recognize it and change the scene without you having to do anything. It even works if you're currently using your Stream Deck to change scenes and you won't have to change any of your Stream Deck configurations. So now we're ready to go live. Before going live, let's first make sure that all the platforms that are vertical, like TikTok and YouTube Shorts, have the correct vertical canvas that we created. Just click the three dots menu on a platform where you want to stream vertically, click on canvas, and then select the vertical canvas we created. Press that shiny start streaming button and a new window will pop up asking you to either set or confirm the titles and categories for all the platforms that you enabled. Once you set them all up, just click the start streaming button at the bottom. Once you're live, you can check that you're live on each platform by this live indicator to the right of each output. And don't forget, you can also go up to the Stream Elements menu up top, pull in our multi-chat window to see all of the chats in one place. And that's it. We hope that this new tool can help all of you branch out and start streaming on multiple platforms. As always, feel free to let us know what you think of SE Live Multi-Streaming. Do it in the comments in this video or tweet at us on x.com slash stream elements or join our Discord. That's discord.gg slash se. Now, thanks for watching and we'll see you out there, hopefully on multiple platforms.